morning. And he said unto him, Follow me. Luke 5, 27. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of Joe DiMaggio. 17-year-old Joe DiMaggio wanted to see his brother play baseball for the San Francisco Seals, but he couldn't afford a ticket. However, near the player's entrance, there was a knothole at just the height of Joe's eye. One afternoon, he was watching the game through this knothole when he felt a hand on his shoulder. Shivers ran down his spine and his heart skipped a beat. Was it the park policeman? Slowly, Joe turned to face a smiling man in a business suit. Are you Vince DiMaggio's brother? Yes, sir. Joe gulped. How, how do you know? I'm Spike Hennessy, scout for the SEALs. I've seen you play in the sandlots. You're pretty good. Thanks, Joe beamed. I hope you don't mind me watching the game through this knot hole. Not at all, Mr. Hennessy laughed. But why stand on the outside looking in? Follow me. But why, sir? Joe asked, still apprehensive. I want you to meet Mr. Graham, owner of the seals. Come, come inside. Joe DiMaggio followed Mr. Hennessy through the gate, down the dark hallways under the stands, and into Mr. Graham's office. No need to go around peeking through the knot holes, Mr. Graham said. Here, here are some passes. By the way, I heard you're a pretty good ball player yourself. Are you interested in trying out for the team? And that's how Joe DiMaggio became a professional baseball player. During the next 20 years, he did not have to worry about peeping through a knot hole. For he was inside. He was part of the team. Are you on the outside? Looking in? Today, Jesus says to you, as he did long ago to his disciples, Follow me. Why stand on the outside looking in? when you can be part of the team. God calls you to follow him today. Mm -hmm.